time to stop messing around. Ten minutes later, I made a breakthrough. <gasps> Somehow. I just... Uh, yeah, nice. I honestly thought I was going to take longer, but we're getting there. I can drive the servo from the code, and I can also connect to the Joy-Con from code. Now I just have to combine them together. Check this out. actually how I make each frame of the display like the actual face so I'm an illustrator right here you can see I have this face right here I use six different images so this is one of the this is like the base image and then I take it and I can move it around in the screen right so then I export it and then throw it into this little program right here and then it turns it into kind of like a binary file right so then I have all these images saved so here's one image there's another one there's I have three of them right now and then I have that linked inside the code and boom and that's how you do a display yeah this is kind of how the final design work will look on the inside it took a lot to get to this point and it's still still quite a bit left to do so I got the uh, oh the screen working I got the face working I got the Bluetooth working I got the controller working Got everything 3D printed. Now I just have to multi-thread everything. Yeah, just multi-thread the ESP32. That'll be easy. That's all you gotta do. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to go home. But I also want to finish this project. I just want to go home. I don't want to multi-thread it. Don't make me multi-thread it. I finally did it. Yes! Yes! This is the culmination of a month and 10 days of work. And I just soldered the last wire on. Here we go. Everything snapped into place. <laughs> oh oh my god it's so beautiful all right now let's see uh we got to connect it to the switch controller see if it connects this is so weird the only thing that works is the reverse button on one side i don't care it only has one action right now but we're gonna go for it it's gonna go in a circle Only one command works, and it's the left wheel. Not sure what's wrong with the right wheel or why it won't accept certain commands. Who knows? I'm gonna have to go back and tweak a few things. Uh, all right, it's the next day, and I made one more change to the power supply uh, try to try to fix the issue we were having yesterday. And I'm pretty sure we're getting close to final form on this thing. And I actually put everything upside down so the controls are going to be flipped so this is the only way i could get it to fit in there it's like this we are now connected 
<laughs> All right, here here goes nothing. <laughs> the last model bang yo Aiden add an, add an explosion right here Uh, it's time to airbrush. I'm going to shoot for this as closely as possible. Not too sure how that's going to turn out. It takes a long ass time to airbrush that stuff. I think it turned out pretty good though. Definitely got some bubbles and blobs and stuff on on the stuff, on the things. Yeah, but the first coat went good. Now I just got two more colors I gotta do. One coat left. When I first started, I thought it was, like this is gonna suck, and then after the second coat, it looks a lot better now. It looks a lot cleaner. So let's see how it turns out. And here we go. After about a month and 10 days, here is the final product in all of its glory. My paint job is kind of terrible, but that's okay. Here it is. Conclusions, my biggest regret, not regret, biggest thing I would have liked to have done better on is the painting. Uh, the airbrushing was, that went terrible. It just ended up looking like a, some military robot. It is kind of uh, Halloween colors and it is October, so I'm just gonna say I went for Halloween colors. Yeah, the, I knew the Bluetooth was gonna be terrible to hook up, but we hooked it up after like a month and a half of troubleshooting. Learned a lot in the project and I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description where you can uh, get all the files and stuff to make one of these. And also, I might try and uh, produce a few of these so I can sell them. Um, I don't know though, by the time you see this video, I, there might not be any for sale. So I'll also leave that link in the description in case you're interested. All right, later.